Hey guys, welcome back to this tutorial. So today we are going to learn how to implement constraint layout in Android. If you have noticed uh, of late when you create a new activity, the default layout is constraint layout. The reason being it's uh, one of the most responsive layout and according to their documentation here, you can see uh, it's saying build a responsive UI with constraint layout. So guys, after after this tutorial or even before you can check through the documentation but uh, this is exactly what you are going to learn within this video so as you can see i've created a simple login page uh, with a logo username password forget password and even the login button so i have a scroll view i have constraint layout and then we have button here we have text view another text view and you have even a uh, text input layout. As you can see, the, the way I've uh, added them, it's not the way they are displaying. This is because it's not a linear layout, it's a constraint layout where you constrain one view to another view. So uh, I have a fresh project that you are going to use. So depending on the size of the screen, it doesn't matter with constraint layout, it's very responsive. For instance, if I do uh, change my my orientation to landscape, you can see still I have a responsive login page. So let's get started with this fresh project. So the first thing that I'm going to do, uh, you'll notice that uh, when you create a new, new project, by default we have this text view. So I'm going to change this one from Hero World. And I'm imagining you have your logo, so just insert your logo here. If it's an image, change from text view to an image view. Then I'm going to give it a bias, a vertical bias, and I'm going to give it two. So the bias will help us create a small margin, either on top, that is vertical, or even horizontal. Below it, I'm going to have text input layout. Then I'm going to have zero so i'm going to give it zero since i'm going to have to constrain it to the end of the parent that is start start of margin i'm going to start from the parent and end to the parent that means i'm matching my parent then i'm going to close this one let's give it an id and i'm going to have tl user in it, I'm going to have edit text, and I'm going to match parent, I'm going to lab content, I'm going to give it a hint of username. And then I'm going to give it a type, input type, that is text. And finally, I'm going to close this one too. So as you can see, I haven't finished constraint this one, so I'm going to give my logo an id and i'm going to say tv logo and my text input layout should be below my logo so here i'm going to say the top of my text input layout should be constrained at the bottom of tv logo so as you can see we have our logo and we have our text input layout then I'm going to give it a margin, so I'm going to give it a stop of 20 dp. I'm going to give it a start. Start margin. So margin start, and I'm going to give it also 20 dp. And even end margin. So guys, uh, I can even show you how you can be able to add this one through the design. So for now, let's just leave that one. I'll show you how we can do it on the design or editor tab. So the next thing that I'm going to have is TL password. And then this one, the top should be below TL username. Then import type, the hint I'm going to give is password. And the ID that I'm going to give is D, password. The type shall be password. 
And here, I'm going to give it an ID that is ED username. Then below this one, I'm going to have a button. The button I'm going to give it is zero. Then I'm going to lab content. I'm going to give it a background color of primary dark. And I'm going to start, start of palette. And then I'm going to have end, end of palette. And the text that I'm going to give it is login. And the text color I'm going to give it is white. Then I'm going to close that one. And then it's going to be below the TL password. So here, the top of this button should be below to the bottom of TL password. I also need another text view, which I'm going to love content, love content, and the text shall be forgot password. And I'm going to give it ID. TV, I forgot password, and then I'm going to give it, so as you can see, I want it to align just the end of password, so I'm going to have, let's give it a small margin of 5, and then I'm going to give it top, should be bottom of TL password, and then I'm going to have it end of TL password. So as you can see, it's constrained just the end of TL password. But for this one, for us to see that one, I'm going to change it from TL password to TV forget password. So what's the meaning for us guys is to add margin. So first let's learn and see what we have. So I'm going to change the orientation here. And then I'm going to close this one. Oops, let's change this one. Okay. There we are. So we have our logo, we have the username, we have password, we have forgot password, and even we have the button. So if I change the orientation, you can see we have logo, we have password, forget password, and even the login button. But now we need to give it a margin so that it can look some, uh, a little bit decent. So I'm going to go back, and here I'm going to go to the design mode. My TL username, I'm going to change here, to give it 16. 16. Then I'm going to give it at a top of 24. I'm going to go to TL password. I'm going to give it 24 at the top and I'm going to give it a start of 16, 16 and then I'm going to go to TL forget password that one I had already given a constraint of 5 and finally to my button the top I'm going to give it 24 start 16 and 16 and then let's learn this one once again and see what we have So there we are, we have a, a decent layout. So we have logo, username, even the password, and then we have forgot password and login button. So let's try to change the constraint. So as you can see, our button is hidden. So on a small device screen, our button will be hidden. So this one brings us to another layout called scroll view. So let's get it back. Okay, change this one. Then I'm going to add a parent layout here, and I'm going to have scroll view. And here I'm going to change the field viewpoint to. Then I'm going to have constraint layout, match palette, lab content. And I'm going to give it a bottom padding of 10. Then I'm going to close it here. Let's learn this one again and see.
So there we are, we have the username, we have the password, forget password and login button. So if I click on this one and I try to scroll, you can see, we can be able to scroll. So we have a line here. Uh, most of the users don't like this one, so I'm going to remove it and even add on. Click listener to the button. So here I'm going to have scroll bar, and I'm going to have none. And now button, I'm going to give it ID button login. So I'm going to copy this one. Main activity of button button login and i'm going to have five view by id all dot id dot button login then i'm going to have button login dot set up click listener view view and then i'm going to want to post a message dot make text and i'm going to have my main class dot this then we have no action at this moment then I'm going to have toast.lenglong.show. So let's learn this one again in C. Let's change the orientation to the normal orientation. So if I click this button, we have no action. We have our logo, username, password, get password. Uh, so that's all guys i wanted to demonstrate on this tutorial so thank you for watching and if you have a question you can just leave a comment in the session below uh, thank you for watching